Have you ever wondered how the Mughal Empire in India was established? Let's go back to the very beginning, to the origins of its founder, Babur. Born as Zahir Uddin Muhammad Babur, he had a royal lineage that traced back to two of history's most formidable conquerors, Timur on his father's side and Genghis Khan on his mother's. Before start the video, if you are new in this channel, please subscribe the channel for more informative videos. Let's start the video. Babur was born in what is now Uzbekistan and ascended to the throne of the Fergana Valley at a young age. From early on, Babur harbored grand ambitions. His eyes were set on expanding his empire and he made several attempts to conquer territories in Central Asia. However, these endeavors were met with stiff resistance. His aspirations were constantly thwarted by neighboring powers, leaving him in search of new territories to claim. Faced with opposition in Central Asia, Babu decided to turn his attention towards the Indian subcontinent. And so, the stage was set for the birth of the Mughal Empire. In 1526, Babur set his sights on the Delhi Sultanate, a collection of loosely connected regional kingdoms and empires. With a keen understanding of the political landscape, he led his army into the Indian subcontinent, ready to make his mark. The stage was set for the first battle of Panipat, a pivotal encounter between Babur and the Sultan of Delhi, Ibrahim Lodi. Babur's forces, a coalition of Turkish, Mongol and local troops, were significantly outnumbered. Yet, they had a secret weapon, firearms and artillery, relatively new introductions to the Indian subcontinent. This strategic use of advanced weaponry, combined with innovative military tactics, proved to be a game-changer. The battle raged on, with the odds seemingly stacked against Babur. But as the dust settled, it was Babur's forces that emerged victorious. Ibrahim Lodi was defeated, and the Delhi Sultanate was toppled. Despite being outnumbered, Babur's forces emerged victorious, marking the beginning of the Mughal era in India. This was the first of many victories for Babur, and a sign of the profound changes to come. With his victory at Panipat, Babur laid the foundation for the Mughal Empire in India. Upon this triumphant cornerstone, Babur set forth to establish an empire that would leave an indelible mark on the annals of Indian history. Babur, the conqueror, was not one to rest on his laurels. With the Delhi Sultanate under his control, he turned his gaze towards the Rajput kingdoms and the remaining pockets of resistance. His subsequent campaigns were marked by a series of military conquests, each one steadily extending the reach of his rule. From the fertile plains of Punjab to the formidable stronghold of Rajasthan, Babur's forces swept across the Indian subcontinent, leaving behind a trail of victories. His military prowess, combined with his diplomatic acumen, allowed him to consolidate his control over various regions. The challenges were numerous, from regional rulers refusing to yield to rebellions simmering within his own ranks. But Babur met them head-on, always emerging victorious. Yet his rule was not just about military conquests. Babur was a patron of art and culture, his court a melting pot of Persian and Indian traditions. He laid the groundwork for a unique cultural synthesis that would bloom in the reigns of his successors. Babur's rule marked the beginning of the Mughal dynasty's domination of the Indian subcontinent that would last for centuries. His legacy was not just an empire, but a rich tapestry of culture, art and architecture that continues to enthrall the world to this day. The Mughal Empire, founded by Babur, left a lasting legacy on the Indian subcontinent. This legacy was not merely one of territorial conquest and political dominance, but also of profound cultural exchange and artistic innovation. The Mughals brought with them a rich Central Asian heritage, which they seamlessly wove into the fabric of Indian traditions. Art and architecture flourished under the Mughal rule, leading to the creation of some of the most iconic structures in India. The Taj Mahal, built by Emperor Shah Jahan, is a testament to the architectural prowess of the Mughals. This blend of Persian, Turkish and Indian architectural styles resulted in a unique Mughal style. Characterized by bulbous domes, 
slender minarets, and intricate inlays. In the realm of literature, the Mughals left an indelible mark. They patronized poets and scholars, leading to the creation of an impressive body of work in languages such as Persian and Urdu. The court of Akbar the Great was known for its nine jewels, a group of scholars, poets and musicians who greatly enriched the cultural life of the empire. The Mughals also played a significant role in shaping Indian cuisine, introducing dishes like biryani and kebabs that have become synonymous with Indian food culture. Their influence extends to music, clothing and even language. While Baba's invasion marked a significant shift in India's history, it also led to a rich cultural fusion that continues to be celebrated today.